Well, there we go. <coughs> Morning to you all. Today's Thursday. Oh, it's a good outer today. Blown holy. I think we're going to have a few heavy showers. But there we are. Cornishman today as well. So uh, keep smiling. Now, tomorrow night, Friday, down by the day centre, well, out by the spoon bowl first, there's going to be a, a lantern of lights with young children walking all the way across the uh, King George V Memorial Walk and back to the day centre. And then we're going to um, put the lights on. I say we. No, I'm down there myself and my wife and my sister and Christine. We're going to supply a bit of cups of tea and a bit of um, few biscuits and all if anybody want them and I should be doing a little tombola stall to raise a bit of money for Hale Salvation Army and for um, the old Cornwall Society but also Saturday this Saturday my last time down the Hale Chapel down Foundry I'm there from about 10 till 1 got some lovely prizes to you know for to people to win a lot of Christmas prizes there as well so if you get a chance come on down and um, grab yourself a few bargains Anyway, that again is for Hale Salvation Army and Hale Old Cornwall Society. Now, I've got two or three birthdays here today. One is a dear friend of mine. Oh, not today. It's tomorrow. I do apologise. It's Alan Oliver. It's his birthday tomorrow. Uh, Marlene Edwards is her birthday tomorrow. Matthew Banks is his birthday tomorrow. And Mike Mitchell, great friend of mine, Mike. So all of you four now have a nice uh, birthday tomorrow. And on Saturday... A great friend of mine, Paul Phillips, from over Alston, is his birthday. And also my older brother, Michael, Michael Smitherham, is his birthday on Saturday. So uh, so that's all that took care of. So uh, anyhow, let's do, I'm going to do a couple of poems here today. And this one's called A Small World by David Prowse. John was ambling up the lane while wrapped against the cold. A figure small but twinkled-eyed of 80 winters old. But always smiling, always bright, however dark the days, and sharp in observation with a thought in every phrase. I need to know your secret, John, I took the offered hand. You always have the air of one who's found the promised land. Oh, no secret, son, he grinned again, no subtle master plan. I just try to make a difference in the only way I can. I thought I'd change the world, you see, when I was young and strong. I saw myself as placed on earth to put the rights the wrong. Father had been off to war, the scars were on his mind. He did his best to keep us fed, but work was hard to find. I left school early, just a kid, but no one seemed to care. The pittance earned was valued more than any college chair. I swept up in a barber shop and slowly learned the trade. My head could barely find the space for all the plans I'd made. I met my Mavis, courted strong, prepared to settle down. And then another conflict bloomed, and all was turned around. So I became a desert rat as one of Monta's lads, and found a strength within myself I knew I never had. No, not heroic, nothing great, just that reflected power which comradeship and fear provide to face the morning hour. Together, sun and shoulder deep, that's how I made it home. That's how we changed the world, I thought. Not little men alone. My mavis waited, bless her heart, and soon became my wife, and I, a backroom barber, settled down to married life. Small talk with a back and sides as children grew to men. We had forty years together, and I'd live them all again. And all those dreams of blazing trails to change the status quo were lost within a terrace house with a barber shop below. I realised the world for me was not across the seas, but here, amongst those few square miles where neighbours hold the keys. My influence was one to one and not the stuff of kings. I, I'm, I'd not improved the lot of those in Maine or Alice Springs. I never blew the clouds away or caused the sun to shine. All I could do was shed some light within the world of mine. When Mavis died five years ago, it might have been the end. But everywhere I chanced to look, I found I had a friend. It all goes round and round, you see. The warmth you give away is like a banknote set aside to meet a rainy day on one tiny corner that's our share upon this planet earth but space enough to do some good and demonstrates our worth the world enough without you the need to stray beyond the crest you simply love the ones you love and smile upon the rest have a lovely weekend all right take care <laughs>